Hey everyone, bringing you video on safety first. This is the baby three in one grow and go. You can use from baby to infant to toddler with a booster seat. Up to 50 pounds, I believe, maybe 65 pounds, but a uh, good seat. But I am going to show you how to install one of these for a newborn, which is going to be rear facing in the back of a truck. In the back, it does have these straps, all three of the back seats. But what we're going to be doing is using this here with these two hookups. It's got two metal pieces right here. So those metal pieces are going to hook either here. Some cars will have a little circle like a plastic piece and that'll tell you if, if it has the hookups but if not you can just put your fingers just half an inch in between your seats and you can see and on the other side it also has it so it only has two hookups for the bottom but it has all three for the for the top first of course before you do anything you want to read your instruction manual that will give you all the information you need on how to use this thing safety you're also going to want to use that with your actual vehicle's manual as well so you know if this actually fits for the specifications of your car as i said before you are going to want to measure just to make sure the height of your baby everything is right so first off we want to loosen the shoulder straps here okay now we're going to do that, you take those clips out and this, just push it in and it comes open like that, okay? Then you have this long strap on the bottom, that's this here. So what you're going to want to do, this part right here inside is a button, it just pushes straight down. So you want to push this button and these straps will loosen. And you can find the strap and loosen it all the way so there we go loosened all the way these side things right here so you have this clip goes into the side like that I might be doing it wrong or in the book it says you can tuck it so it's out of the way of your little one you're also going to want to for a seat adjustment these knobs on the top here so you want to fold them inward and pull up and that's going to adjust the height of the seat now installation on this side you'll have these numbers one two three so for newborns they're going to be at the number three you have this lever that's going to change the angle of your seat so you can pull it out Tilt it till it's over the three. And what you want to look at, rear facing level line. So this red line right here, you want that to be horizontal with the ground. If you need to put a towel or something right here, so it's more level, however you need to get it. So this line right here is flat. And it does help to move this seat up when you're installing it, just so you can work around everything. Now, another thing you want to adjust if not already done so is this bottom part this buckle right here if you look there's one two three slots and you want your buckle to be coming through either the first or the second slot closest to your baby now, right now it's in the middle slot so i want it to come through the closest slot because it's a newborn baby probably not going to be that big if you pull this lever and you look inside here very short and it's hooked to this metal buckle piece here so you have to rotate this piece to feed it through that slot see and that's what you have so this little metal piece is also this piece that comes out so i'm going to go for this last slot right here i'm going to put that in there like so and then the slot in the actual seat put it through there this part only goes through this padding this one We'll go through both goes inside out the back of the slot there and then into the actual slot of the seat just like that so now we have a safe strong secure buckle installing the actual buckle this is going to be the latch option for the installation so it's just uh these little 
extra flaps here. I took those off so I could raise this up a bit, get to work under it. It's a lot easier. I'm going to take this, which is stored under it in a blue bag. You can pull this out to get under there, and it's all right there. This comes out. If you need some space or you need some slack, this button here. And that's also to tighten it, of course, after you've installed it. You're going to take this whole thing in this bottom hole here. The one not with the adjuster on it, the other one. You're going to feed that through this hole across the bottom. You see that? It's going to go across here. Out the other hole on the other side. And so that's your setup. Another thing you want to make sure is that when you have it through both holes, you want to be sure that the strap is flat inside. You don't want it twisted or curled up or anything like that, which mine is. Inside, when it's in there, you want it flat. And when you're attaching these hooks on the metal in your car, you want it open side down so it just latches on. So you want it attaching like this, not like this, this way. So when you pull them out and pull it up, they're facing out. You're gonna want this adjuster on the left side facing out. So this is on the left side, this adjuster. I'm gonna hook it on these metal pieces right there. And now it's hooked, now I'm done, right? Now, putting this back, that's one, both sides, so that's two. And you have your other hook, it's a very small little hook right here. You also want to make sure it's reclined all the way. Whatever you got to do so that this line is about there. Tighten using this excess strap. I have my two buckles in. My line is just a little bit off. I might put something under the seat later to adjust it. Once you pull this strap as much as you can, you want to make sure if you move it this way or this way, any way, you don't want it to move more than two inches that much. And right now this thing is moving a lot. What I can do is take this fabric off here and this excess strap, I can feed it back through the same hole and that gives me more leverage to make it tighter. This pulls right out and that should tighten this part up here. And when you're putting these shoulder pads on, you want to make sure that they're at armpit length of your baby. So not too high, not too low, right around here. Then you'll buckle all this in, just like that. Out there. Now as you saw, that did make the seat go up a bit, so now this line more like that and I want it like that so I'll make some more adjustments that's uh, basically it hope you like this video uh, I'll be posting more videos out there about installing baby things creating a baby crib bouncers anything really you probably be buying in the future for your baby be sure to like subscribe hopefully put out some more videos like this and be doing a lot of other different stuff thanks for watching the video and see you next time